Two updates. First update is ChatGPT Omni. Uh, you have 3.5, 4.0, and now 4.0, meaning Omni. And I have a Mac, <laughs> and now I can download it as an actual product on my Mac. So it literally is its own platform, and I don't have to be on the web to do it. Okay, so I'm going to show you the side by side and, and show you what the differences are. Not very many differences, but I thought there was. So let's go over and look at it. When I first opened this up, I actually thought, I thought that I couldn't see my old or my, my um, previous chats, but it was minimized. So I can see them like they're all there, all there. So I'm so excited. So here's kind of the difference. Like here you can see that I have my uh, profile. I can do my settings. It used to be down here um, when I opened this up, but it's here. So now I can do my settings in here. And I believe I probably still have to do my settings on the web. At least that's what I think. And the other difference is you have recommendations here in the middle where here I don't have any recommendations. And if I want to do a new chat, it's right here where new chat is up here. And then I can still do the drop down, so I can use 3.5, 4.0, and Omni. And here I get, when I click on this, I see all of, I see 3.5, 4.0, and Omni. It's a little bit more, it's colorful. So you can kind of see this, the difference. And it gives me all of my own GPTs that I created. And when I first clicked on this and I'm like, oh my gosh, where's all my stuff? Well, all my stuff is under, when I look at this dashboard or the sidebar, so it's there. But if I click on this over here, so uh, if I want all of my, here are my uh, GPTs, my GPTs aren't here, they're here. So that's kind of the the comparison between the two, which, hey, I think it, you if you do have a Mac, download it. It'll pop up on your computer if as an option, but I believe you can go and grab it out of the settings. Tell me what other tips and tricks that you want to know about ChatGPT. And also, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. Tell me if you're like, oh my gosh, I do not care about ChatGPT. And if you're an educator, tell me how you're using it to become more um, efficient and proficient. Maybe creating lesson plans, letters that go home, maybe doing some editing for you. I know, yeah, we use grammar Grammarly, Grammarly as well. But it can do a quick paragraph and edit for you. You can even say use APA and MLA or Chicago style for that matter. So tell me, what do you think about ChatGPT and the new updates?